Hello and welcome back. Um, I don't even know what to call this. I'm just going to, I'm just going to call it maybe Antichrist. Okay. Uh, yeah, we still talking about the ministers and, um, yeah, because this is a very serious, uh, predicament, you know, that, that the people are in these days and, and we need to warn them being a good steward, uh, of God, uh, you know, it's our duty and our job, uh, to warn as many that will listen. Um, so let's just get into it. This is what I want to say. Ministers. Okay. The ministers these days, not saying all of them because you have some good ministers, um, you know, that proclaim the word of God properly and they adhere to, you know, all the things that God uh, tells them to, and they're, and they're good to go. So I'm not even talking about you, but, um, the ones, uh, who, you know, don't, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Ministers, they glorify themselves these days. Some of them do. And I'm not sure when this trend began. Uh, you know, it's not even important, really. Uh, I just want to tell you for certain that the first century ministers did not do the things that we are seeing. OK, um, I can't even imagine, you know, uh, trying to read some of the theatrics <laughs> that I'm witnessing, uh, you know, on social media today. And and clearly this is happening uh, in person in, in these so-called assemblies. All right. So. What I'm talking about more specifically, and I've said this before, so let me just kind of clarify and bring it on home. Uh, you know, the first century ministers, they didn't do all of these theatrics. They wasn't running around and dancing around and screaming and, you know, giving all these motivational speeches, you know, instead of preaching, uh, you know, slave dancing, you know, like you're standing on some hot coals, uh, you know, playing hopscotch, uh, you know, taking the emphasis off of God and hogging all of the attention and turning it on yourself. Uh, this is not righteous, okay? You're doing the opposite of serving, okay? They're elevating themselves above the people as if God has only spoken through the minister. Uh, no, that ain't how that works. We have the complete, finalized word uh, of God. We can educate ourselves. Uh, ministers, your job is to preach the word. All right, so this rebuke is, is for you. Have you forgotten what God said? There is no private interpretation, Okay. Um, first of all, Second Peter one and twenty says, knowing this first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture comes from someone's own interpretations. Uh, so all of you ministers that are up there, you know, giving your own private interpretation uh, on what you think God is saying versus keeping it within proper context, you are leading people to hell, and damnation awaits you as well. The apostles, whom we all believe and deliver the first sermons of the gospel were never a spectacle such as this or anything remotely close to what we have witnessed behind the pulpits today. Do you think that you are smarter than God? The word does not need anything but to be proclaimed. Look at your ancestors. These are your ancestors. If, if you believe in God, then your ancestors are the apostles. All right. And how they address their brethren with all humility all right, let's go over to uh, James 1.1, 1, 1, shall we? James, he starts off like this. James, a bond servant of God. He's giving all honor, glory uh, to the Lord as he should. <laughs> and of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is reigning on the throne. Okay, because they're one. All right. He says to the 12 tribes uh, who are dispersed abroad, greetings. He just said, hi. Hi. It's none of this running around, shouting, jumping on calls and all this crazy stuff. Stop. He just, he's just greeting them. That's it. But he gave homage to God. Okay. I'm coming to you as a servant, but I'm going to give all glory to God. And then look at your other ancestor, uh, Paul. Romans 1, 1. Paul, same thing, a bond servant of Christ Jesus, <laughs> called as an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God. He didn't say set apart to be a spectacle. He didn't say set apart to be elevated above my brethren. He didn't say set apart because I'm the only one that's got this word. That ain't what he said. <sighs> Stop it. He said set apart for the gospel of God. He is peculiar as we all are who follow God and not the world. And if you're not peculiar, then you probably want to rethink that. Okay. So these men, and that's just the name of you. These men, these days that are in minister clothing, are nothing more than antichrist. Yes, I said it because that's what God says, okay? Titus 1 and 7 says, 
And these are the same qualifications uh, that the bishop, the, the, the minister has the same qualifications uh, for a bishop must be blameless. OK, um, like I like I was showing y'all yesterday about the all these ministers that are coming out with these scandals and whatnot. They're not blameless. That gentleman yesterday uh, said <laughs> he was tasked, you know, to to uh, pretty much be over the people. Uh, no, that ain't what the minister does. OK, they're not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no strikers, not given to filth. The lucre. They got that money, money. You know what I'm saying? And they will actually take your money, money. You know what I'm saying? They'll pre they'll preach that money run on out your pocket into theirs. And that's and that's craziness. Okay. Clearly, there's poor leadership. Leadership that allows them to make a fool out of themselves and everybody attending. Leadership that is unlearned. Leadership that is not God-fearing, leadership that uh, uh enjoys accolades and the praises of men versus obedience to God. A joke. These days, people come to your building to see a concert, a play, or hear motivational speeches. That's it. That's all. They can't accept nothing else. Because if you, if you dare tell them what God really says, you won't have them. Now, I'm going to let that sink in for the ones in the back who don't quite understand that concept. Because, see, people want truth, but they can't handle truth. Okay? Because it make you look at yourself. And it make you tell yourself No. And it make you sit down somewhere and really think that thing through. Okay? This is not the doctrine of God. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 6 says, Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw yourselves from every brother, every brother that walketh disorderly and not after the tradition which he received of us. Now, again, I'm going to ask that question. Did the apostles tell Timothy to to use all his might and dance around and 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 hold their attention and captivate them by screaming and running down the aisles and you know what I'm saying just all his little theatrical might no that ain't what they told him everything that they told Timothy to do decent and in order so let me ask you all something these outward displays of emotion cuz that's all that they are what does it remind you of let me show you something this is your average concert, okay? Raised hands, people are emotional, they're dancing, they're singing, except, you know, they are singing to uh, maybe a man or a woman who's up there, whatever, whatever, okay? Um, and then let me show you something else. This is your average denominational worship. Same thing, raised hands, they're dancing, they're singing. Can you tell the difference? I can't because I'm going to tell you the truth. Even these concerts nowadays, at the end of them singing their blues, R&B, rapping and all that craziness, a lot of them will still stand up there and they will have church, quote unquote. I never knew that those two things went together, to be honest with you. But nowadays, anything goes. Okay. Furthermore, if you think that the lifting of hands and the stomping of feet equals something holy, then I want you to check this out. Is he speaking in tongues? Is this worship? And is this worship? This is how Native Americans give praise to their gods. What about this? Is this worship? I see a lot of um, praise dance teams doing these same moves. Are they praising God or um, an idol? You see, there's no different. And that's why God does not want this. <laughs> it can be duplicated, replicated, and it's very confusing. Are you praising idols or the God of all creation? It's hard to tell.